the big story. Patrick Mahomes, his ankle, he said he avoided any setbacks in the game against the Bengals. I think he's just going to be 98%. I don't think he's going to be that limited. The fact that he was able to play at that level, and yes, it was awkward in the second half after he re-aggravated, but he's still, you look at his stat line, it was still just the Mahomes normal stat line. Two more weeks, I think that he's just going to be fine. Yeah, and it's not like they beat, it's not like they beat, oh, I don't know, a 49ers team that was on their six-string quarterback. You know what I mean? Like, they beat Joe Burrow in the Bengals. Yeah. Like, I mean, he had to make some classic Mahomes throws. He had to make some classic drives, like, in that game. Like, you know, I, and honestly, that game, if, if it wasn't for the bad, it wasn't, not not fumble, whatever you call that, yeah, you know, was, like, the, the weird pass, you know, like, um, uh, if it wasn't for that, that game maybe isn't even as close as it, it wound up being. Yeah, and he put up that stat line without any wide receivers outside of Marquez Valdez Scantling. And I think to me, that's the bigger news going into the Super Bowl. It's not so much Mahomes, who I think we'll be fine. It's what's the health of the Chiefs' wide receivers. Looks like Michael Hardman has all but been ruled out. He's doubtful with the pelvis. But it looks like Juju Smith Schuster in particular, he should be able to play. And then Kadarius Tony is a bit more suspect, but he should be able to go as well. And if Mahomes is able to beat the Bengals with no, no one outside of with, MBS and Kelsey who's getting double teamed every play, then I think he's going to have more than enough if Juju and Tony play. Yeah, I think so. And, and neither of those guys, Tony and, and Juju, played last week. But, you know, the two weeks to to get set, my feeling is is that, you know, it's a Super Bowl. I, I, I think both guys will be ultimately out there. And even, even if Juju and Kadarius Tony are on limited snaps – that's going to be enough. They'll have they'll have specific packages for them. Both guys, I think, are important for the Chiefs because Darius Slay and James Bradbury are so good on the corners. Like having some, having Juju, who's a slot guy, having Kadarius Tony, who's like this gadget guy that you can do a bunch of different things with, and you can motion, you can motion and and create mismatches with them. Those two guys are important to try to avoid Bradbury and Slay. Yeah, and I think he he just needs one. Just give him one of those guys who's close to 100% to go with Kelsey and MVS, and I think that's probably going to be enough because Mahomes, he's the only quarterback in the league who appears to be relatively wide receiver proof. The fact yeah. that Tyreek Hill can leave and he still is able to do what he does. Yeah. Obviously, MVS but, goes off right. uh, against the Bengals. You can't expect that every week, but but he certainly delivered. By the way, cut cut to uh, like Marcus Kemp and Sky Moore saying, what, Jay Crotcher? What are we, we're <laughs> top liver uh, over here? You said he's, he had nothing. We were out there. Uh, you, we were they were out routes. there. They were out there. They were also out there and they were covered. But I mean, but to that point, I mean, 10 targets combined between Pacheco and McKinnon, as you see it there on your screen, right? I mean, like he had to um, he had to target the uh, the running backs quite a bit. And it's really interesting as we sort of like get into uh, into the props and we'll get the, into this throughout the week. But I do think and like Juju's not listed. Kadarius, Tony, there's no line yet on either of those guys because you don't know yet if they're if they're playing. But I do think um the over on uh, on the receptions for those guys is it like on on uh, Jarek McKinnon and uh, Isaiah Pacheco. I want Pacheco. I think is two and a half receptions. Yep, and he's around fifteen and a half receiving yards as well. I think he goes over. We were talking yeah, about this like on the this. way here. Yeah. He's just he's just better than McKinnon, and the upside that he gives you. He had that that Marshawn Lynn Lynch type of run down the left sideline against the Bengals, which was so key. It just seems like they've gotten more confidence in him progressively as the season goes over. Like the early though, Mahomes over 19 and a half rushing yards. I think they give him a play or he just does it early just to establish that so you have to protect against it the rest of the game. I'll give you two that I like here. I Both quarterbacks are at one and a half touchdown passes. And so give me the over on, on e, both of them, but especially over on Jalen Hurts. So I have a, I have a correlated Jalen Hurts bet. I like the over on one and a half passing touchdowns here. Remember, the Chiefs gave up the most passing yep. touchdowns in the NFL this year. The most. And so... And also, by the way, I like the under on 49 and a half rushing yards for Jalen Hurts. Yep. We talked about this on the show last Thursday. Everyone wants to talk about Mahomes' ankle. Jalen Hurts is not Jalen Hurts is not 100 percent No. He is out there, he's wincing, he's gutting it out. But I I just I think they will try to limit his rushing. I, I think both the Eagles and Chiefs will try to limit his rushing. So I think they that that the, the way to attack Kansas City is on against that defensive line. Philadelphia is always going to run, but I think it's it's going to be you know it's going to be AJ Brown, it's going to be Goddard, it's going to be Devonte Smith, and trying to attack that secondary, which has been to be kind inconsistent this year. So yeah, give me the over on one and a half t passing touchdowns for Jalen Hurts, and then the under on his rushing. Yep, I like that. On the Eagles side, I don't think we need to touch on this too much. Lane Johnson, Landon Dickerson, Avante Maddox, all expected to play, so they are 100% healthy outside of the Jalen Hurts question. 
Yeah, um, I mean, I, Lane Johnson being back obviously is going to help Jalen Hurts, just period, but will help his rushing. But 49 and a half is a big number. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotoworld, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.